look at your weather forecast today. I'm no meteorologist, but I can tell you it looks beautiful outside there. <laughs> the beach calling my name, and so is that sunshine outside. Yeah, it's a nice morning to take a walk outside, yeah. get a little exercise. Uh, one thing we're going to be seeing a lot of dry conditions over the next couple of days. Let's take a look right now in Newport Harbor. Beautiful morning down there as well. Our three key things, the beat goes on. Weather like we had yesterday, continuing today and tomorrow. In fact, it's quiet all week long until we hit the early part of next week. So even the weekend right now, starting off dry Saturday, but it is starting to look a little bit like we could get a bit of a rainy Sunday could linger into Monday. We'll show you that in the seven day forecast. Temperatures, as I mentioned, have been rising between 45 and 50 right now for the temperatures in Smithfield, 45, 46 in Westerly and New Bedford. You're at 45 winds at about 10 miles per hour. Providence and Smithfield, 13 mile an hour wind with some gusts of 20 in Willimantic and Groton. The winds are a little lighter in eastern Massachusetts currently. Our wind forecast, not as gusty as it was yesterday, but still some breezes to 20 miles per hour. So we'll call it a breezy and mild day with our weather alert. This is just for an elevated fire weather risk and you can see it's a heightened risk the further north and west that you go. So in the northwest corner of the state, low humidity, dry brush and those breezes will make us prone to seeing fire spread if they were to develop. So just be very careful and don't do any outdoor burning today. So the clouds from out over the ocean clipping Massachusetts right now. Boston's North Shore all the way down to the Cape. A little bit unsettled and cloudy right now. And some of those clouds will stream our way. So our skies, I expect to go from the sun filled conditions we see this morning to more of a sun and cloud mixture as the morning and afternoon goes on. It's pleasant. It's dry. Lower to middle 50s, 10 and noon today. And then afternoon highs reach up to the lower 60s by 3 and 4 o'clock in the afternoon with that mix of clouds and sun sunshine and still dry skies this evening and into the overnight hour. So let's widen out the view because we've been tracking this pesky area of low pressure. I mean, certainly not a uncomfortable stretch of weather with it, but it's hanging out over the ocean just enough to the east of us to keep us under its influence with that breezy north and northwest wind and to keep some of those clouds trying to fill in over the area. You can see at lunchtime still most of the cloud cover is in eastern Massachusetts, but some of that does spread westward. So by four and five o'clock this evening, partly to mostly cloudy, some clearing overnight tonight, much like what we had last night and then sunshine tomorrow in the morning will once again give way to some increasing clouds here for eastern New England. And as we take a look at the conditions for the overnight hours tonight, I expect us to cool down down to around 40 to 45, similar to this morning's lows on the bay. Good visibility, high tide 441 in the afternoon, low tide about a quarter past 11 in the seven day. Lots of low 60s during the day, 40s at night. That beat goes on, as I mentioned, all the way to the start of the weekend. Sunday, chance for some showers, so it's looking a little bit more likely by the afternoon and evening that we'd see some of the sweat weather moving in. And that'll continue with the risk of some showers Monday. 